Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with the Syria Final Fantasy Opera Omnia and yes, uh, you know what? I was able to max out Aiko so uh, let's go out here and just show off the girl we're gonna go as a guest into the uh, power power and magic thing event and uh, we're gonna bring Aiko uh, I don't have her maxed out but I basically have her 15 CP maxed out I have her 35 and um, yeah so uh, also Tancred is a beast now in that event but uh, let's show off the girl Aiko just in case you guys were wondering how good she is or if you're not sure if you should put all your white crystals on her and uh, let's just say that uh, she's really good she's really really good her smite basically deals HP damage now and her HP regen basically buffs your attack uh, gives you HP regen brave regen for basically 12 turns and uh, basically she becomes a monster uh, she's really really good unit so uh, let's show off the smite right here let's uh, do a lot of damage to the target ultimate weapon and uh, we're gonna have some fun so yeah guys basically this is up now live you guys can do it if you're watching me live and not four weeks from now uh, so uh, are you guys excited for the uh, the last characters that are gonna get their uh, level 60 awakening I know I am and uh, I'm looking forward to Sephiroth and Zack a lot a lot a lot a lot so let me know guys down below in the comment section which unit are you looking forward the most that is gonna get their level 60 awakening I know Sephiroth for me is gonna be one of them and I really can't wait till this EX weapon comes out uh, might not be from now in a couple of weeks uh, or something like that basically because I think they're gonna go with the lost chapters but uh, yeah I'm looking forward for uh, Sephiroth and also for Zack uh, right here we're just gonna go for a regular HP attack because we can do a little bit of damage and uh, you guys will see uh, we'll see how much she shines basically I've been running into only vanilles Tancred and uh, Icos in that event uh, I don't think a lot of people are using other characters basically these characters are really really good and Tancred is actually not that bad the only problem is I have nothing 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 for him not even his 15 not even his 35 so uh, for me, trying to go pull for him on that banner is basically a no-no. Because I really want uh, maybe Agrius when she comes out. I want to try to keep some tickets as much as possible. And also, uh, Lightning will be coming out too. And uh, that's one thing I'm going to be looking forward a lot. So uh, for that, we're just going to have to take our time as much as possible. We're just going to go with a Brave. Because basically your Brave attack gives Brave to everybody. So she's going to hit me, well that big stone monster is going to hit me for HP, which is not that bad. So ideally my thing is not lagging too much, which is great. I spoke too fast, right? I spoke too fast. But let's see the beautiful, if he's going to use the EX, let's see that beautiful EX attack. The Bavakakra. Bavakakra. Go for it, man. Use it. Sometimes when people are just, you know, looking at their screen, you don't know what they're doing. Let's go with uh, a... Hey. Yoroshiko. I'm so fluffy. <laughs> that was weird. Alright, Tancred. Are you gonna do something? Oh, well, that just happened. Which is great. Alright, so do this. Do a lot of damage. We should be able to get rid of that thing right now. It's only two of us now. We're going to be able to do that easily. Yeah. Easily. So that these bosses are actually not that bad. Uh, I've been trying. Alright. So another update video. I've been trying to do the EX as much as possible. But damn. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, also the Fang event. Uh, still no luck. I mean, I'm trying to get Vanilla up as much as possible with her crisps and everything. But uh, I gotta say, it's not easy. Uh, it's not easy since if you don't have a debuffer for your, uh, or a dispeller more for the, the two bosses at the end on the Fang event, that thing is almost impossible. Because they do so much damage 
and uh, that I'm I'm hoping that I can get vanilla up and maybe do it tonight because I think the event finishes tonight or maybe tomorrow night. So I'm gonna try my best to get to the end of that and basically do it. Uh, so yeah, no luck there. And uh, for the Deuce event, well, no luck there either because uh, I was only able to get Deuce's 15 CP and those uh, metal octopuses. Wow, I gotta say, they're really hard. So they really bumped the difficulty up with that event. But, you know what? It's good. It's part of the game. It's uh, it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do, game. You gotta make it hard for us a little bit. And uh, every once in a while, give us some good weapons, please. I'm talking to you, Agrius, when you come out. Better give me all your weapons. Uh, Alright, so here we're gonna cast Bahamut. We're gonna go for another smite. Let's see how much damage we could do right here. Not bad, 30,000. So you guys can see that they have a really good synergy. Obviously, they're boosted character in, the, in that event. But I've been trying Ico with uh, different characters. And I gotta say, she works wonderful. Uh, she works really well with uh, Kate Sith or Selfie. Uh, if you guys want to use her with a character like Beatrix, she also re runs really, really well. Uh, she can deal a lot of damage and also be a good brave battery to the party so use that to your advantage she's really cool really really cool uh and we're gonna be able to get rid of these characters right now bam let's go to the last boss which is basically the easiest one you can fight heretic archeovis you're gonna go down super fast my man uh if we add Vanille here, I know we did it, I did a run with Vanille before, and uh, just by her casting her Deep Protect, we were doing so much damage, that boss literally went down in 3 or 4 turns. So, Vanille is actually a really good character. If I can get her Crist to max level, maybe I'll try to show her off, even though I don't have her 35 CP. But she's still a really good unit, even though she only has her 15, she's still a really, really good unit. And look at that, let's just do an HP... Bam, HP regen to everybody and basically do a big HP attack at the end. So she's really, really versatile. She can deal damage and she's a really good support character for your party. And we're just going to go say, see ya. Good job, see ya. Hello, Squall. And that's it, guys. That's it for Ico. So, like I said before, let me know down below in the comment section, which character are you looking forward the most to? To get their level 60 awakening and which ex weapon if you are hoarding your tickets or hoarding your gems which one is you the most excited about let me know down everything in the comment section below guys thank you so much for watching this video please leave a like subscribe for more and call and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace